So maybe I can unpack it this way. If God is kind of almighty and all powerful and, and, and just can do whatever he pleases and we don't get to define him and we don't get to shape him, he's self-defined, then he's a God that exists, but he's not necessarily a God that's among us. So we believe in him, but he makes no difference in our everyday life. He does not see, he does not know, he has not come down. On the other side of the pendulum is those where God is imminent, but he's not transcendent. So think Eastern religions. Think movie Avatar. God is in everything and everywhere, including my ponytail, and I can hook my ponytail to a tree, and now we're all God together, right? This is imminence gone too far. You're not God. Your dog's not God. The tree's not God. God is God, and he is among us. He hears us. He sees us. He has come down. And if you land too far on the imminent side and forget his transcendence, you more than likely have a t-shirt that says, Jesus is my homeboy. And there's no seriousness in your heart about sin. And you live as though God does not see, does not hear, and has not come down. And so there's no holy fear in your heart. There's no striving for holiness while resting in his grace. Right. Did you hear I said that? There's no striving for holiness while resting in his grace.